Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Pyle, and I want to thank you for joining me on this one episode of the Kevin Pyle Show that talks about converter boxes, if you will, for those who have antennas hooked up to their TVs. Um, for those of you who have seen PBS's video where back in 2008 they posted that um, a con the converter boxes are hooked up to analog TVs while with the new TV you don't actually have to have them. They are telling the truth, however, there's one piece of information that is actually useful for those who have a VCR. And there are some people who have a VCR hooked up to their new TVs because they want to be able to watch videos, like with um, standard definition videos, if you will, like the videotapes. Those viewers actually are not doing anything wrong to begin with. They really aren't. But let's talk about what if they wanted to record their favorite show, if you will. Like they want to actually record a missed show so that they can watch it when they get home. The bad news is they can't do that with a new TV because the antenna only works with the TV, not the VCR. Like it used to be before 2009. I thought about this because I used to record missed shows all the time before 2009. And sometime after. And I had a converter box hooked up on one input while with cable I hooked it one up to the other because I that way I could record a missed show from one cable channel and one local channel. Because at the time I didn't I had a DVD recorder that only had two inputs. It didn't have a coaxial input, if you will. But that's not entirely what I'm talking about. You see, if you have a new TV, you can still watch TV normally. But if you have a VCR and you want to record your favorite show, that's a whole different story. If you have cable, obviously you have to have a cable box. But if you have a new TV with cable, actually, you don't necessarily have to have a cable box with a new TV. As with an analog TV, you have to have at least a digital link, if you will. In Abilene, we have a digital link receiver that you can use to just watch cable TV for analog TVs. However, a cable box is your best option because it will allow you to have RCAs. And with RCAs, you can actually hook up your cable box the same way you would hook up your DVD player. And that, that same goes for converter boxes as well. I say this because with RCAs, if you have a, an analog TV, you're getting the same show also on your VCR. And because of that, let's say you plan on changing the channel, guess what? You're recording what you're watching from the main converter box. So if you have two for an analog TV, you would actually be able to record one show that you're watching from a different converter box that's hooked up. Because your main converter box will always be hooked up to the VCR regardless. However, if you have a different converter box that you're using with the RCAs, you can actually record a, the missed show from the converter box that you don't normally use. Because that way you can still watch your favorite show while, re while you're recording another program at the same time, the way analog TV used to be. That's your main focus. The same can be said for cable. Cable TV is the same way now. I know this because of experience. And it makes you wonder why it is that those with new TVs have been told you don't really need a converter box. Well, most likely it's true if you don't have a VCR, as if you do, it's a whole different story. All you have to do 
and hook up your VCR the same way you would hook up a DVD player to your new TV. And that way it won't affect the reception. But here's the tricky part. The antenna would have to be hooked up to a splitter. And the splitter would hook the antenna up to the converter box. And then the converter. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the one antenna would go to the converter box and the other would go to your new TV. Or your second converter box. Because that way it doesn't affect the reception nearly as much. Your reception has to remain as crisp and clear as possible. And the only way to do that is to not is to have the one antenna with a splitter, and that way you don't have to have two antennas to save space. That's the kind of information that you don't normally think about, but it's actually good to have. Because of that, we need to think about how we plan on recording our favorite shows if we don't have DVR. And that's, that's what my main show is about. There are some people that still want to watch old movies, if you will. They can still do that regardless. It doesn't take much connection at all. However, if they plan on recording missed programs, mm -hmm. then they would need a VCR or a DVD recorder. But not all DVD recorders are the same because some only have the RCA inputs and outputs, while others have the coaxial cable kinds. Also, that doesn't matter anymore because as long as you have the right connection, you're good. I was looking out there. <laughs> Now, I will say this. Not everything is the same as you might think. In fact, not all TVs are the same either. I remember the time when not everyone got the same chance. With cable, that is. In fact, in Abilene, Texas alone, if you were watching cable TV in the late 90s, early 2000s, right up until 2009, maybe, you were getting, well, at least before 2000 anyway, you were getting channels 98 and 99 on a Zenith television model, and those were 0 and 1 but you weren't getting all the cable channels that you would have received otherwise. Those times are gone. However, after 2009, if you had a Siki TV like the one I have, you would get KERA on a different channel number, but not anymore. Since August 5th of 2015, that has changed. Before that, it started out playing on 69-113 and then it downgraded to 49-113 and now it's 113-0 or 113-1 but some TVs had theirs on 113-0 and some did not get KERA and HD at all unless they had a cable box which was kind of messed up but that's just the way it was back then now everything's changed for the better. Drop channels are one thing. 
and yes, cable and satellite TV sometimes drops some channels because they can't reach agreements. That's bound to happen. But why waste your money switching to another provider when you don't have to? If it's your local channels, get an antenna. Even if you have cable. As long as you figure out a way to um, get your local channels to be part of the missed shows, should you want to watch them, you're in good hands. In fact, those. In fact, I w I just mentioned earlier that I had cable, and I had a converter box hooked up on one input, and then I had cable hooked up to the other. But I had to have a VCR just to do that because at the time. The DVD recorder did not have the coaxial, it only had the RCAs. So I would be able to record a missed show at the time that the show came on, but I would have to leave them both on in order to get it. That's just the way it was. I want to thank you for watching my show and have a good day.